High in the sky over Kimba's kingdom, an airplane wings its way north. The people on board are enjoying the beautiful view, completely unaware that two of their fellow passengers are the mean and nasty diamond smugglers, Manny Mean and Norbert Nasty. <coughs> oh, that smoke! Uh-oh. Nasty. Look at that engine. Co-pilot to pilot, look! Stop shouting, I'm right here. I'll radio the nearest tower for instructions. This is flight 711, somewhere over the jungle. One of our engines has burned out. Please advise. Over. This is the tower. You should be able to make it there with three engines, but you'll have to lighten your load. Get rid of the baggage. You'll be perfectly safe, but we must get rid of the extra baggage. Are you sure we will be all right? Look at the smoke from that engine. It's not as bad as the smoke from your cigar. We'll be glad to play with you. That's right. We don't get a chance to play with little alligators very much. Do you want to? All right. You're awfully cute. <laughs> that people feed to their automobiles and trucks to make them go, I think. Make them go? Must be what Kimber calls gas. <laughs> Please be careful. It could be dangerous. <coughs> Ali, you mustn't drink gasoline. I know that now. Oh, my tummy hurts. <laughs> Our children. Our children. Kimber, you must come quickly. What's the trouble? Our children were captured by alligators. Kimber, you must do something right away or they might eat our children. What? What is it? I don't know. Must be trouble. to me, Gruff. What do you intend to do with those little ones? We're going to eat them. What? Why would you want to do that? They haven't hurt you. You're right. They haven't hurt me, but they tried to poison my little boy. Look at that. It's a can for gasoline, and they made Ellie drink it. 
He's lying, Kimba. We guessed it was gasoline and told Ali it was dangerous. But he went ahead and bit into the can. Quiet! Now I see what happened. By the way, how's your boy Ali feeling? He's at home where he belongs, taking his nap. Oh, then I guess his stomach doesn't hurt him anymore. Of course not. And he'll be well soon. Of course, he's very strong. I'm glad to hear that. Now there's no reason not to give our young ones back. What's that? Think you can talk me out of my revenge, do you? They tried to poison my son, Ellie, and I'm going to get even. You stubborn blockhead. Hmm. You. Yeah. You're just mean, that's what. <laughs> Now set them up in the other alley. That does it, Gruff. We might have given them their young ones back, but not now. We'll keep them right. Right. It's always been the same with alligators, most unreasonable animals we've got in the jungle. And besides that, they've got very sharp teeth. I'll bet Roger Ranger could help us free them. Huh? Looks like someone lost some luggage. Maybe it's from that helicopter. I knew we'd find the bag, Nasty. But I never thought we'd find it so easily, Mean. We were lucky there was no one around to grab it. But then who would guess that an old beat-up bag like this really contains three million dollars in stolen diamonds? That's right. I almost told the pilot of that plane not to throw this bag out. But can you imagine what would have happened if he'd opened it? <laughs> <gasps> It was only a jack-in-the-box, but it was exactly the same as the one with the diamonds in it. Mm. The question is, what do we do now? If some of the baggage from that plane fell around here, then our bag can't be too far away. What have you got there? <laughs> What'd you say? Don't talk with your mouth full. I'm telling you, I found this box flowing down the river. Mm, looks good enough to eat. Ah. Do you see that? Yeah. That was good, whatever it was. Roger! Some human beings lost some of their baggage. Oh, then you must have seen some of them. That's right. Yes, I heard them talking. It seems an airplane threw out all its baggage, including their bag of smuggled diamonds. Their, their bag, bag of smuggled, smuggled diamonds? diamonds. Uh-oh. Well, we got diamonds in the gruff. <laughs> this is no laughing matter, Polly. If those men knew where the smuggled diamonds were, they might kill a lot of animals to get them. Alligators in front of us and men with guns behind us. What a predicament. That's right, Bucky. But first things first, we must get those youngsters off the island. I've an idea. Help me, Kimba? Sure. Kimba's coming with me. The rest of you go back to the river and act as though nothing has changed. OK. Gotcha. <laughs>
life was easy as pie. Come on, let's go. <laughs> sure you'll be able to breathe in this contraption? Seems mighty strange. It's the only way I can think of to help save those young ones. But if those alligators see you, you know what'll happen, don't you? If we don't go, we know what'll happen to those youngsters. Those alligators are much too stupid to know what's going on. Not too loud. They'll hear you, Polly. Goodbye. Good luck. Thanks. you escape, but you must be quiet. Listen to me now. We'll take you back one at a time. Come on, Dodie. You're first. Put this on and go with Kimball. to make and the alligators mustn't suspect anything. Bubbles going back and forth like this before. What do you think it is? Don't worry about bubbles. They're just a lot of air. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> you did it. You two have done the impossible. Oh, Kimba, how can we ever thank you? Thank you, Kimba. You're, You're the greatest, greatest ever. ever. Wasn't only me. Thank Roger. Thank, Thank you, Roger. Roger. Come on, Kimba. Let's get this equipment back before the men wake up. Right. The rest of us had better go back to the jungle before those alligators realize what's happened. Come on. Everybody up. I want to know what happened to our captives. I would say offhand that somehow they got away. I know that, but how? That I don't know. Neither do I. All right, we've thought about it long enough. It's time now for action. Those animals came here to make fools of us alligators, so we're going to the jungle to eat up the animals. and come in this way. They must really be mad to come this far from the water. Bucky, you'd better go find Kimba and Roger Ranger and tell them what's happening. And you, Polly. Polly, wait. Where are you going? Polly flew away. She must be scared. You don't look so calm, cool, and collected yourself, Bucky. Now get going and find Kimba. <laughs> you possibly do that? Simply. Last night, Roger told us about the men looking for the diamonds, right? 
That's right, but... Well, that gave me a brilliant idea. Listen how clever I have been. When I heard about the alligators coming, I flew right over to the camp of the diamond smugglers. And I brought something they were looking for. Look! I thought this might belong to you. That's why I brought it. Mm -hmm. Huh? Did you bring this? That's right, I did. But where are the diamonds? The bag's a little beat up. I see that. But what's happened to the diamonds? I was just coming to that. The reason the bag's so beat up is because an alligator took a big bite. You'll find him with the other alligators over there. If you want your diamonds back, just open them up one by one till you find the right one. Bye-bye. Let's do it. So that's what I did. I knew that diamond fever makes men mad. They'll take care of all the alligators. Aren't you proud of me, Kimba? No! You're not? Oh. I'm ashamed of you, Polly. I thought my idea was very clever and brilliant. It's not clever to have animals destroyed. Not even alligators. No matter how bad some animals may be, we must help them, not hurt them. You're right. <gasps> Come back. It's too late. There's nothing we can do. No sense in getting yourself hurt. are all the alligators. But how are we going to get them without them getting us? Just drop the coal tar bombs. That'll keep them too busy to attack us. Right. A white lion. Then we're all out of coal tar. That's all right. We'll use the whirling knives. The heat should help soften the tar. Kimba! 
The heat will soften the tar. You'll be able to free yourself. Move around. Pull yourself free of the tar. Then quickly, jump into the water. Kimba. Move around. Jump into the river. He's hurt. They're both safe. Smarter this time by some dumb animals, but we'll be back. The next time, we'll be better prepared. There'll be no next time. Yeah. Mean and nasty, I arrest you for robbery and smuggling. Oh. They were imitation diamonds made of paste. But you didn't know that. Too bad. Oh, oh no. no. I know now that those youngsters didn't try to poison my son, Ali. I made a big mistake. I'm sorry, Kimba. Please tell the others we'd like to be friends. I'm glad you understand. If we can all be friends now, that's the most important thing. By the way, how are your burns? They're all right. We alligators are thick skin, you know. How are you feeling now? Just great. Come on, everybody. Let's celebrate. Time to have some fun. Look at that, Dano. By the time those youngsters are grown up, they should be living together in peace and friendship. Just won't turn in love. 